Shalom, 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 shalom. First and foremost, giving infinite praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahusha, Ba'ashim, Rechakodash. Giving double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Shalom, and salutation to all you sincere Akim across the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama God from the DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahushua by Hashem, Rechakodash, the feet of the elect. Now, this is a, a lesson of exhortation, all right, uh, Lord willing. It'll be a quick one uh, to the point. Uh, just dealing with, um, of course, the nation of Israel, um, the hopeful elect, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, primarily the one-third, all right, beginning with the government body, the 144,000, 12,000 men from each tribe, all right, Judah on down to Issachar, and the remaining of the multitude, which are Israelites, men, women, and children, um, in Babylon the Great, all right, and also you have Israelites, uh outside of Babylon that also will be protected. Um, basically, the, the, it's, it's about the flood that's getting ready to come um, towards us. As you know, when I say us, the prophets, begin with the prophets and all the believers. Um, Edom Esau, uh, like the scripture said in Revelation 12 and 12, knows that his kingdom is um, in, a, it's in a downward uh, spiral. And he's not going down without a fight. We know this, but we always um, have to I remind ourselves that things will get ugly before it get good. All right, things are gonna get really bad before it gets good. It's gonna get really, really nasty out here. And Edom Esau, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man, is um, basically gonna come down hard. And um, he's going down, and he's not going down alone. He's gonna take a lot of people with him uh, to the grave. All right, he's gonna send his military uh, like a flood. And uh, the key. Of this lesson, basically, is to, um, you know, basically have faith and understanding the aspect of flood um, and what the flood really uh, represents um, in these days when it comes to the believers in Yahweh Bashim El Shah. All right, that's why I had that those images with um, those troops. All right, because the insurrection is coming. As you know, there's a civil unrest that's going to turn into a civil war. Um, and it's not just going to be like like the old civil war that happened um, in the United States. It's going to be a crazy, the craziest, biggest war. It's going to be a civil war that's going to turn racial war, class war, uh, total chaos. And in the midst of it, uh, the United States government is going to implement martial law. They already have legislatures um, in the NDAA that was signed back in 2011 by um, former President Barack Obama. And under that law, basically... The United States is able not only to um, put troops on the ground, all right, to go around posse comitatus, but they also can uh, ask for aid from the Uni from the United Nation. Thus, um, blue hats, all right, they're known as peacekeepers, blue hats, uh, to come down and help them with the help of the Northern Command to come down and help help them subdue, um, subdue. Really, the populace, because the populace is going to go off with the on um, the crash of the economy. So, we have to be uh, prepared for that. All right, and that flood and the number of um, military men and the bullets flying and the type of weapons they're going to have is going to be scary. But you have to believe that your whole body is going to protect you and your family. Very important, because brothers out there have families, they have children, um, they have wives, and um, it, you tend to get weak on your own by yourself. It's scary. But it's even scarier at times when you understand that um, you have children, you have babies, you have uh, a wife. Um, and, you know, the flesh start may start to really uh, get weak uh, when it comes to how they're going to be protected. This is Isaiah 59 and 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord. The whole Bashem El Shah from the West. All right. The Western Hemisphere and his glory. From the rising of the sun, all right, and the glory of the heavenly Father Yahweh is Yahweh Shah, all right. So the rising of the sun is talking about the return of the Amashiach Yahweh Shah, all right. It says, when the enemy shall come in, shall come in like a flood, all right. That enemy that's coming in like a flood is all those armies, all those groups, those mercenary groups that I've just talked about. This is going to happen. It's not a, a if; it's just a matter of when, all right. It says, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. All right, we know what that means. Spiritual powers 
Um, but you have to have an image of how this could potentially look. All right, that's very important. Um, thus I had this precept because I was reading this this precept earlier, and this kind of sparked up this um quick exaltation. And then it's Psalm sixty six and five. It says, "Come and see the works." Well, the main point is six actually. It's Psalm sixty six. I'm gonna start at five. It says, "Come and see the works of um, the Most High. He is terrible in his doing." Toward the children of men. So, as the flood come in, a lot of the um, these different mercenaries and military groups and kill teams. All right, because you're gonna have prior to martial law being instituted, um, this government is gonna turn fully tyrannical. They have a dossier with, with um people's names on it on the well known uh, red list. If you know anything about fusion centers, they have the red list, um, the blue list, and the yellow list. Um, if you've been fervently Watching this gospel, believing in your hope, Hashem El Shah, you have to understand that they have your IP address. They know what you've been listening to. They 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 know what you click on, so they can kind of know the level of brainwashing, right? And in in this case, spiritual brainwashing, which is good, but in their case, um, they're looking at us like we're evil, brainwashed, and we want the downfall of their kingdom. So they they will have to do something about it, and they are willing to take you and your family out, um. Do away, do away with your whole lineage, basically, um, just to sustain their kingdom, their new world order. All right, so you have to understand um, the uh, the magnitude of what we involved in. <clears throat> so, Psalm sixty six and five it says, "Come and see the works of the Most High. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men." All right, so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna put um, he's gonna bring the spirit and um, basically where to be through. Um, giving brothers spiritual powers or sending the angels because uh, the angels will interfere uh, like they used to back in the ancient times. All right. Why? Because it's the end. All right. This is the Lord promise that towards the end he would give um, basically release the angels. So they would be more um, uh, in active. I'm, I'm going to put it out. I'm going to put it that way. They're going to be more physically active, uh, visually active uh, when this thing hit the fan. All right. Verse six, it says he turned the sea. This is the important part. It says he turned the sea into dry land. All right. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. So uh, let's break this down. It says he turned the sea into dry, dry land. It's Yahweh by Shemuel Shai um, using, of course, Moses. Right. Um, remember when um, the Israelites, uh, when we were all leaving Egypt. Uh, you know, we had a flood of Egyptian armies behind us, but we also had a actual uh, body of water in front of us. All right. So we were basically in, uh, entrapped between um, a flood of men and a flood, flood of water. Now, in this case, um, you know, where we are right now, the flood that's going to be in front of us and behind us is going to be flood of armies. All right. And. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah, you know, we're going to walk through, you know what I'm saying, on foot. I mean, the Lord is going to do some really you know, miraculous things. Again, maybe if your brothers to protect their family or also, like I said, angels being um, very, very active. All right. And and that's the main thing. You have to have confidence because it's not um, the Lord is going to make it happen. And he's going to have us actually uh, walk through. All right. Um, so you might have a group of mercenaries coming out to take you out. And there's a divine intervention. And and then you and your family will actually walk through. Now, you might have instance, instances where the angels might come, um, might give you the heads up to get up earlier than than the kill team is supposed to uh, pull up. Or um, you might have instances, again, where things get really, really uh, devastating out here in your favor. Um, and then when the, the flow of power of energy is, is released, you know, you and your family are going to actually walk through. You're going to walk through bodies. All right. It's like, the, the, you know, just like you see that body of water split. So don't be surprised. I mean, you know, if the Lord, the Lord's going to do this, it's not even if it just depends on, um, the brothers that's going to, um, be the ones to actually go through this. This is going to happen, all right? You're going to have a multitude of soldiers, and the spirit is going to um, um, move, and it's going to move them out the way, and they're going to be dead, 
Whether it be some of them be passed out, but most of them going to be dead. And they're going to have their bodies going to be lying on the left and on the right side. And you and your family, um, you're going to be able to just walk through on foot. And that's the power of the Lord. All right. And um, it's not it's not going to be because you have guns or none of that. We don't need those things. The spirit of Israel, the power of Israel is going to manifest itself. And you're going to see your enemies on the floor, just like the Red Sea, parting, all right? Laying down on the left and on the right-hand side. And that fear is going to come down even stronger. And your family is going to believe even more so in, in, in you as you also believe in um, Yahweh Bashim El Shah. Uh, so, you know, and, and the reason why I'm breaking down, you know, and I'm giving you an image of it's because it's through the spirit, right? That's why we're prophets. I mean, the Lord gives us um, visions and um, visual images so we can um, expound. So, so Israel can get an idea, right? Um, and it's not perfect, but that's how visions are. They, they, um, they, they're not perfect, but they just give you a sense of what's to come, and they boost your faith. All right. So when the sea parted um, back when we got out of Egypt. Um, like I said, this time is going to be the same thing. The sea of soldiers and armies and UN troops and kill teams. Um, when the Spirit of the Lord is with you and your family to protect you and your family. You know, if you're a part of the elect, that is, because two thirds out of the nation of Israel, um, they're going to be sacrificial um, lambs in this case, right, for the slaughtered. Uh, they're going to be killed because, um, I mean, we know, it's, you know, why the level of degeneracy has gotten out of hand. Uh, the majority of Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans love the darkness, love evil. They love to be wicked. And this is going to be their judgment. All right. <clears throat> this is Revelation 12 and 15. It says, and the serpent. All right. The serpent being Edom, Esau. Right. It says, and the serpent cast out his mouth, um, ca cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. The woman being Israel, the serpent casting out. The, um, the water as a flood is talking about soldiers. All right? And this thing happened back in 70 AD. I mean, East, Edom Esau following after Jacob is nothing new. All right. That hatred goes back to the book of Genesis, the two twins and um, back of stomach. All right. <clears throat> it says that he might cause her to be carried away off the flood and the earth helped the woman. Right. Because you go back to 70 AD, the woman was able, the majority of women uh, primarily, um, the southern tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, were able to flee into the on the mountains on um, in the interiors of West Africa. So that particular land was able to, um, you know, it was it was it was helpful when it come when it came to escape. That's the reason why when you go back to um, Matthew, it tells you that all that's in the land flee all that's all of those in the land of Judah flee towards the mountains, right? The mountains of North Africa, and also you know, and all the way down to the interiors of West Africa, so on and so forth. All right. <clears throat> so now that's it. That was an example of the flood. And let's go to this is the book of Luke, chapter six, verse 46. Subtitles, Builders and Foundations. It says, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say. All right. So to be a part of the, the elect, you have to be chosen from the very beginning. And right now we don't know. Um specifically individually who's a part of the elect and who's not. But what we do know is that we were given a hundred percent truth, especially the men of Great Millstone and our um beloved truthful sincere affiliates. And we know that as long as we do the things which what we were told to do to the best of our ability, which is primarily preach priest's word, all right, uh, um feed the lambs, like Yahweh Shah said, feed the lambs three times. That's why we have to constantly uh uh, warn Israel, all right, warn the elect of what's coming, all right, so it's very first and foremost, and then, you know, treat each, each other on the way, uh, uh, you know, treat your brother, treat your brother uh, the way that you want to be treated, all right, so you have these commandments, what should Yahweh Bashim El Shah, man, push this word, and then the brotherhood, make sure the brotherhood is cool, you know what I mean, and that's it, all right, if you do that with consistency, when Esau comes down, the great fear is going to come through, but the Spirit of the Lord is going to also come through, and, and miracles are going to happen. Luke chapter 6, verse 46, And why call ye, call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Verse 47, 
whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like, to whom he is like. He is like a man which built a house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. All right. It's talking about years of consistency, faith, trials and tribulation, constantly uh, doing this work and, and relying upon the rock, which is uh, your house. It says, and when the flood arose, right, meaning when those those troops come through. All right. When um, the U.N., the peacekeepers, the Northern Command, Blackwater mercenaries, uh, late night kills, kill teams. When the flood arose, the stream beat, beat uh, vehemently upon that house. All right. So, you know, the whole uh, Jack Boot. Uh, uh, um, what's the other one uh, that then they used to uh, bat battering ram. Right. All right. It says the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it for it was founded upon a rock. Now, you, of course, this is a spiritual aspect of um, being, you know, trials and tribulation. But everything is spiritual. Everything starts spiritually, but it also has to be manifested on a physical level. Um, the Lord, the Lord would deliver you spiritually. And, you know, the spiritual ailment, the spiritual ailments that you're going through, the flood of doubt or spiritual ailment that you're going through. But the Lord also has to physically deliver you um, by, you know, by um, manifest his, his, his power in a physical manner so you can visually see that as well. So he has to do both. And we're getting ready to see the second part um, where the power of the Lord is ex exposed um, visually. All right. It says, and when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Verse 49. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon the earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great. Right. Which is the two thirds and including, you know, some guys out there that do know the gospel. They heard about this truth and they just don't want to apply, right? Lack of faith for whatever reason, ultimately not being a part of your lack. Um, you know, there's going to be a uh, recompense for lack of action. All right. In this case. Now, let's close out with Psalms 136 verse 10. It says, um, give thanks to him who killed the firstborn of Egypt. His faithful love endures forever. So it's like a song of David. I right, give thanks to him who killed the firstborn of Egypt. His faithful love endure forever. And the Lord is going to do similar things. He's going to take away and destroy the legacy of Babylon, the great, a.k.a. the United States of America, meaning women, children, old, young. Um, yeah, the future of this place is going to be absolutely wiped out and ultimately by thermonuclear missiles. Um, it says he brought he brought Israel out of Egypt. His faithful love endures forever. He acted with a strong hand and powerful arm. And that's what we're getting ready to see. We're getting ready to see the strong hand and powerful arm, not just spiritual deliverance, but we're getting ready to see like physical, uh, you know, uh, manifestation of the power of the Lord. All right. Uh, verse 12, it says his faithful love endures forever. Verse 13, give thanks to him who parted the Red Sea. His faithful love endures forever. And that's what's going to happen. All right. When these soldiers and kill teams come through, they're going to be parted like the Red Sea. And you and your family, believers of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, you're going to be able to walk on foot. All right. And look at your, the, the bodies laying down left and right. Mango bodies. I mean, all kinds of stuff. But the Lord's going to give us the courage and a different mindset to deal with um, what we're going to witness. Verse 14 He led Israel safely. Through his faithful love endures forever. So that's it right there. All right. It's a good song right there. And that's all I had for uh, exhortation as I was reading the scripture, just um, uh, visualizing uh, the parting of the sea, understanding that um, the parting of the sea now is going to be when that flood of soldiers 
uh, come through. Because trust and believe, they're coming through. They, they, they've seen what you've seen online in the videos and the lessons, what you click on and how long you clicked on. They didn't know by this time if you, you know, just a little bit brainwashed, partially brainwashed. You know what I'm saying? And they know these things. And the spirit of Satan is going to send them exactly to these um, particular homes. All right? That's just how I go. Uh, that's just how I go when society is getting ready to collapse. Um, the powers that be, when they go down, they don't want to go down um, alone. They want to take some bodies with them. All right? But we know you how about you and Shah got us. So that's uh, the end of this lesson. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bashim El Shabashim Achakudash Double Honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone Shalom Salutation to all you sincere Akim across the four winds pushing his truth and sincerity of heart because I'm a guy from a DC camp Shalom.